Episode 6, Multiplayer Based Commands. So there's that. Um, now, I also uh, wanted to add the ability to teleport uh, yourself to another player, uh, even regardless of what dimension they're in. Uh, so for example, uh, if you know the mod, um, I actually can't think of what that mod name is, uh, Mr. Craft, yeah, uh, where you can type TPX and teleport to a player in a different dimension, kind of like that. All right, uh, so let's, let's, uh, the way I do it, if args zero dot equals ignore case me uh, so me being you know the player you, you as a player uh, then let's check if uh, server dot get player list dot get players uh, actually let's cut that out and let's create a separate method for this. So uh, private uh, list of uh, let's, let's do string uh, and get online layers. Uh, and then we'll do for a list hold on we'll do a list of string we'll call this names I know the new array list And then we will do uh, for an entity player player in uh, hmm, no let me just write this entire thing out. Uh, get player dot get server dot get player list dot get players right and then names dot add player dot get display name string and we don't want to get your name so if uh, player uh, dot equals get player and we want to see if that's not the case then we'll add the player name there all right uh then at the end we will turn uh, names perfect and then up here We will say if get online players dot size. Actually, it could be if it's empty. If it is empty, if it isn't empty, that means you're the only one on. Or if it is empty, that means you're the only one on. Um, Actually, let's just because this could return something funky. So let's do server dot. We will be using the get uh, online players later, but server dot get 
player list dot uh, get players dot size. If that is greater than one, uh, then we'll do a for loop for entity players player B in in this. Uh, if args one, I should probably also check that there is an args one. If args one dot equals ignore case uh, p dot get display name string, then we'll do teleport dot teleport uh, then we'll do teleport to player uh, then p dot get entity world dot provider dot get dimension uh, and then uh, up here Okay, we'll say we'll x, y, and z. Alright, and then we'll say x is equal to p dot get position dot get x. Then y and z and y and z. Alright. So now we're teleporting uh, you to the player's dimension uh, to the player's exact location. All right. And let's say we are completely alone. Uh, then we will send a message to the player. Uh, let's change this to text formatting dot red let's say something like huh you know you're all alone right? all right uh, all right so this will teleport uh, you to another player and all right now let's say we want to teleport or actually let's see if uh args dot length equals two uh, that way we don't get a crash if we just type forward slash warp me um because oops this line right here would give us a little bit of an error. Um, and so if all that's good, uh, now let's check uh, if args dot length. Uh, say if it's greater than one. Um, and our args. Uh, one dot equals ignore case me. Uh, you could also say if this is equals to two, same as here. Um, so let's say if sir that. Um, so if the size is large, you know, larger than just yourself, uh, then we will do a four entity player P and then we have that variable, 
No idea why that happened. All right, so we'll grab that. Oh. And we will... basically do uh, this very same thing, except in uh, reverse. So on, uh, if args zero dot equals ignore case p dot get is lay name string, then uh, teleport that player to me, and I'm just uh, grab all that. Put it down. Um, except where all of this is, you're going to replace with get player. So instead of the position being someone else, it would be you. And instead of you, it would be someone else. Perfect. Um, so this will actually teleport the other player, the player you had specified up here, to you. Perfect. <sighs> and you can also give them a choice, but whatever. That's all fine. Oh, uh, if you want to remove a warp, for example, uh, you can do that. So if args uh, dot zero dot equals ignore case remove, uh, then you would say if args uh, dot length equals two and if our args one dot is empty granted that would make the length not equal to two uh, if Let's do for string s in git warps. Uh, if args one <clears throat> dot equals nor case s, uh, then we would want to. You know what, I'm going to create a new method, method for this. So remove warp. And I'll throw in args. Then I'll create class. Right here, private void remove warps and string name. Oh, both those things. String name. Save and oh, go oh, I just spelled it wrong. There we go. Now it should go away. <clears throat> uh, oh, let's throw this in a try catch method. Uh, and it'll do patch. Perfect. This way it just doesn't crash if some weird thing happens. Uh, so let's grab player. So entity player MP. Set that to player and that equals entity player MP. And then we'll say good. Perfect. Uh, and then grab the block pause pause. Oops. I'm actually doing something completely different. 
Sorry about that. Uh, so actually, it's a lot easier than this. We'll just do warps dot remove name, uh, and then we'll do export. That actually is much easier. Sorry about that. Uh, then we'll send message uh, text formatting dot gold. Warp moved and throw in the name. <clears throat> and because here we're doing all this and we're writing it, it's grabbing it from that key set, it'll just rewrite everything with that removed. So that's fine. Uh, and then let's do a few other things. Hmm. Huh, I actually think that's probably going to be it. It looks like it's a fully flushed out piece of software. Or modding, not software. Um, so we've got the list, the map, uh, teleporting you to them, them to you. Oh, let's just do some, uh, some cleanup, okay? Let's say if the... Let's uh, catch to see if the warp exists. So here. Parks is length here, yada yada. And let's arrange this a little better. Oh, actually we already did that. I did a little bit differently on my level. Uh, okay, so that's all good. I actually can't think of anything else. Uh, so we said if it's not a player, that's fine. Maybe if the world isn't remote. Else. Sis out. Uh, the world isn't, is actually. Remote. 